Hi everyone. In the topic of bacterial photosynthesis, we are discussing about the light phase, dark phase. In the dark phase, we had gone through the two different pathways of carbon dioxide fixation, that is a Kelvin cycle and reductive TCA cycle. Now, in this part, we are going to discuss about another uh, pathway of carbon dioxide fixation, that is acetyl-CoA pathway, which is going to mainly occur in certain bacteria like methanogens, acetogens and sulfate reducers. So here what is happening in the acetyl CoA is, this is mainly employed by methanogenic archaebacteria that is methanogens or sulfate reducing bacteria and acetogenic bacteria or acetogens. The acetyl CoA pathway of carbon dioxide assimilation is not cyclic remember this is not a cyclic like other carbon dioxide pathways instead it involves the fixation of carbon dioxide via two linear pathways that is you can see the picture so here you can see one molecule of carbon dioxide is reduced to methyl group of acetate so here you can see methyl group of acetate and one more molecule of carbon dioxide is reduced to carbonyl group of uh, acetate and these two are going to combine and forming the final you are going to have the acetyl CoA so here you are going to have the acetyl CoA so one is going to involve in forming the what we call is the acetate and other is going to reduce it to carbonyl group and those two combine giving rise to the acetyl CoA which then is carboxylated resulting in the pyruvate molecule and the key enzyme of this whole acetyl CoA pathway is a carbon monoxide dehydrogenase or simply carbon CO dehydrogenase. So this carbon monoxide dehydrogenase contains nickel, zinc and iron as cofactors. The carbon monoxide produced by the reaction is going to be catalyzed uh, what we call by this enzyme ends up in the carbonyl group position of acetate. So here we can see it is going to be ends up with the acetate. The methyl group of acetate originates from the reduction of carbon dioxide by a series of reactions of the coenzyme called as a uh, what we call it as THF that is tetrahydrofolate THF tetrahydrofolate the methyl group is then transferred to tetrahydrofolate to an enzyme containing vitamin B12 where it is going to act as a cofactor now the methyl group CH3 group combines with carbon monoxide from here okay to form the final product that is acetyl CoA so that's how here one molecule of carbon dioxide is involved in the reduction of a, a carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide dehydrogenase and then one molecule is involved in forming the methyl B12 so that's how these two are going to combine and form finally acetyl CoA compound so you can see here it's not a cyclic pathway okay so both uh, two molecules of carbon dioxide are getting fixed and getting converted into the acetyl CoA which uh, in turn results in the giving rise to the pyruvate so this is all about the acetyl CoA pathway of uh, carbon dioxide fixation thank you